Hey friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And today is another exciting visualizer roundup video. So we are continuing our last video, which is looking at four major visualizers and helping you decide if you're looking for a visualizer to visualize 3D stage lighting, um, what the best one would be for you. So in our last video, and, and be sure to check it out um, if you haven't already, some side of the screen somewhere, um, we looked at four visualizers. We looked at Campus Magic Q and Magic Viz, at L8, at Capture, and at Depends. Okay, we looked at those four. We compared visualization quality, ease of use, things like that. And I purposefully didn't talk a lot about price. Now in this video, this is the video where we tie it all up neat in a bow, and we talk about, okay, what's this gonna cost you? and which one's going to be the best value for you because it's not necessarily going to be the lowest cost right um the the best value is the one that does the things you need has the tools that make your life the easiest and gets the job done and looks good right so starting uh before we get into the individual visualizers i've got to make a couple blanket statements about especially the three paid visualizers i use um all four but but really the three paid ones <laughs> which is the, these three paid visualizers, L8, Capture, and Depends, are all really good. Like, they're really good. The visualization quality, to me, is stunning. I mean, I know I started right with my first Capture license eight or so years ago. And obviously, in computers, in graphics, things have changed a lot since then. And these visualizers look so darn good and realistic. I mean, they look awesome. And that blows me away as I'm within each visualizer. One of the things I've noticed as a capture user over the years as well, just as an aside, is that every year they work to make it more efficient so that it, it runs better on my same graphics card that I've had for, you know, like three, four years now. Um, but the quality also gets better. It's like, it's nuts, you know? So with that said, um, all of these are good choices. The question becomes, if you're looking for a visualizer, which is the best choice for you, right? And so first we've got Magic Viz. Um, it's part of, as we've mentioned before, the Camsys Magic Q software. And what that means is you've got 64 universes of DMX. And the way to make this work, there's kind of two caveats to it. Uh, the first is to make it work, you have to patch your show in Camsys, okay? So you launch the Magic Q software, you patch your show, all your fixtures, even if you're using another console, you patch them, turn on a DMX input, and then you've got the visualizer, okay? And at that point, you're able to use the visualizer with external consoles. So if you're not a Camsys user, you can use other consoles. Um, so the, there's really the two caveats, right? The first being, you've got to patch it in Camsys. Um, I'm not a really huge fan of the Camsys user experience. Um, I think it's kind of clunky to use. And um, it can do a lot of great stuff. It's a good console. But uh, the user experience is pretty clunky, especially on a PC, which is where you use this. Okay. Um, and the second caveat is that the visualization quality, as we've seen so far in this review, it's not great. Right? Like, it looks okay. You see colors, you see gobos, you see movement. But it's not particularly accurate between brightness of different fixtures. The fixtures themselves don't look that great. They're just kind of blocky models. And overall, you know, the visualization quality reminds me of, honestly, I think it's worse than when I first started with Capture. Like, it's not high quality. So who's this right for? Well, it's free. Okay, sorry about that. It's free. Okay, so <laughs> the point is, you can't expect too much from something that's totally free. And um, unlike Grand MA 3D, the the Camsys 3D visualizer they allow you and they they encourage they're okay with you using it with a different console okay so I would rather if you were gonna go hack the MA visualizer don't do that use the Camsys one they encourage it it gets you to use their software and that's fine right um, I would rather you do that than illegally use Grand MA's visualizer with another console which can be hacked in certain software versions but um, you know, I can't ever recommend you doing something illegal. It's just not ethical or right. So if you want a visualizer, you don't want to spend any money. You're okay with kind of okay visualizer quality and learning how to use this Camsys um, software enough to patch, then, you know, 
knock yourself out, right? Let's talk about the paid ones. So we started with L8 on our journey through the three paid visualizers, and I mentioned they're all really great. And the biggest strength that I saw in L8 is I can work really, really fast in it. Like I hadn't spent that much time in it and I could work really fast. If you're interested in more on this, actually, we'll, we'll link to a video here. Um, check out this guy, Amir Cohen here on YouTube. And he builds some stages in it in LA and shows you how he does it. And he works really, really fast. And he, he talks um, through a lot of the shortcuts and stuff that really make it quick. I think this is where L8 really shines is they clearly have taken a lot of nods. They've paid a lot of attention to video gaming interfaces and they've used all the, you know, all the research and money that the video game companies pour into things and they've used it to their advantage, right? It feels like a video game and it works. You can work really quickly and it creates some really good visualizations. It looks interesting. Okay. Now let's talk about the price. So the L8 CE and CE2, which is what we primarily reviewed here, um, are basically a two or four universe um, setup with a fixture cap as well. Okay. Um, by the way, all visualizers are priced in euros, um, which makes it easy to compare them. Kind of weird if you're here in the US, but totally fine. Not that hard to convert. So for 88 euros or about 100 bucks, you get CE. Okay. That's one year of updates and support on that guy. Um, for 88 bucks, if you jump up to the CE2, it's 250 euros. Um, so about, you know, $275 or a hundred bucks for the CE. Okay. Now notice that after your year, they do mention this, that, that after your year, um, you just lose the updates and support. Okay. So you can keep using it. Like you buy it and it, and you're getting a year subscription to updates, but it's not like it stops you and you have to upgrade once your year hits. You don't, you can keep using the software. If you're happy with all the fixtures you've got, if you're happy with the way it works, you don't have to pay more after that year. So for when we talk about, you know, starting with the visualizer and cost of entry, LA really shines there. Okay. Because, um, it, it really works well. Uh, the focus in L8 is definitely live visualization, but as we talked about, there's also that component of an onboard, um, an onboard player basically that could actually work as a console in some scenarios. Okay. Um, they also have, uh, larger additions that support more fixtures and more universes. So be aware of that as well. Um, and the costs are listed here as well. This is just, I'll link to this page, pricing page below, but it's just l8.ltd slash m slash capture. All right. So capture's biggest advantages, and I've, as I've mentioned here many times, I've been a long time capture user myself, is that it really is a dual purpose CAD like um, software. So it's got a complete CAD drafting side where you can build plots and, you know, send out paperwork and do, you know, traditional looking lighting design plots that you can send to your crew, etc. It's got that whole side and it's got the 3D visualization side and both work really excellently and are really full fledged tools. Um, in addition, the quality is excellent. I would rate it probably above L8. I think it does. It is a little nicer quality than L8 but they're both such good quality that I, I can't knock on either of them, right? Um, and if you're using Onyx with Capture, I know I talked about this in the last one, um, as Onyx and Capture work together under the fact that Onyx is under relation, there's a lot of interoperability happening. A lot of things where the two just seamlessly interact and it's gonna save you time if you're an Onyx user. So as of current in the beta edition, um, it can, uh, you can actually control fixtures in Onyx um, through Capture. So you literally are touching the screen, moving things around, turning them on in Capture. It shows up in your programmer in Onyx, and we demoed that quickly in the last video. Okay. Um, similarly, the um, the 2D plan in Onyx, and this is currently in beta, can actually be generated based off what it looks like in Capture. Okay. So you're actually saving time in creating your Onyx show file if you start designing and capture and move it over. So that's something to be aware of too. Okay, really cool stuff that you can literally have both apps open and work with the two ways. See what you're doing in Onyx happen in capture, move stuff around in capture, see it reflected in Onyx. And there will probably be more to come in the future. 
let's talk about cost. Capture's cost and their five-year upgrade cycle is, I think, what makes it a tremendous value, okay? And the reason why I initially jumped on it. So here's how it works. You basically, you go and buy it. So say you buy the solo edition for 395 euros this year, okay? You buy that. You now have up to five years to be able to upgrade for the upgrade costs listed here, okay? So for a solo edition, that's 100 euros. You can upgrade every year if you want the new features, or you can upgrade every five if you don't care about the new features, okay? And so there can really be some cost savings there because not only is the upgrade really inexpensive, right? It's 99 euros for a solo edition, a 119 for a duet for two universes. Um, the quartet is four universes and symphony is unlimited, by the way. So not only is it really inexpensive um, on the upgrade cost, but you don't have to upgrade every year. Okay, so it's not a software subscription that you're locked into. Um, in fact, they upgrade the, the fixture library, what fixtures are available for five years as well. So you buy your solo edition this year, your duet, you can use that for up to five years without paying an upgrade fee. Or if you see stuff in there, if you see new features and you say, hey, that looks really good to me, then by all means upgrade. Um, but you can save a lot of money that way. Uh, not only that, you can upgrade at any point between the different editions. So say, just as an example, so this makes sense because it can't be confusing. You buy a solo this year, 395. In two years, you want to go to Quartet, okay? That means you go ahead, you upgrade your solo to the current year, you pay the 100 euros. Then you go ahead and you can, I think you can do it at the same time. You then go ahead and do the Capture 2020 or, you know, whatever year it is, solo to quartet upgrade for 900 euros. Now that price is really just the upfront cost difference, right? The Because this is about 400 euros and this is about 1300, that's 900 difference. And so that's all you're paying, okay? To, to make the upgrade, which is pretty cool. But it's really interesting that the upgrade cost um, between years, between editions is really low. Um, a lot of these visualizers do this, that you don't have to pay them every year. But if you choose to, if you choose to upgrade to the latest edition, they're, it's really not expensive once you've bought into it. And I appreciate that. Um, you know, L8 does a similar thing, just to, to walk through the upgrades um, on their, their higher count stuff. Um, they, they do have the upgrades in here. Um, there's a lot of different options, but they're not, um, they're really not crazy. So do take a note of that. L8, I believe, also upgrades um, yearly. They have a new version every year, just like Capture. Okay, so, you know, depending on what you're doing, um, on a yearly level, if you're going to use this for a lot of years, Capture could come in, actually, a little bit less than L8, right? Uh, if you, you know, think through this basic example, say we do L8CE, it's two universes, and we do that for five years, right? So that's 88 by five, Let's just say it's 100 by five, 500, okay, euros-ish, you know, a little bit less, 450, right, for five years of usage, okay, um, if we upgrade every year. With Capture, I know this isn't an exact example, you're going to pay 795 for a duet, okay, and then um, that's going to get you your five years. So, yeah, L8's a little bit less expensive. It's definitely, um, and like I mentioned, you know, it, it can visualize well. Um, but I would say Capture has a slightly higher visualization quality. And if you're using Onyx in the as we go into the future, it's kind of a no-brainer to use Capture with Onyx. Um, the integrations they're building just make it so that it's going to work really well. Also, if you work in a professional capacity, the plotting abilities to be able to plot and capture and send that off are, um, you know, completely functional. They work really well. And um, it's definitely worth a good look. Uh, not only that, Capture has a great demo. You can grab it on their, their downloads page as well. Um, L8, I believe, does not have a demo because you can get in with CE so inexpensively. Now let's talk about Depends, okay? So Depends, to me, is a lot like Capture in a few ways. Uh, the visualization is very high quality. I think it might be a little bit more accurate than Capture. Um, 
it's got the ability to do all the external stuff really well, like the the various um, fountains and special effects and stuff like that are really refined in, in Depends. Um, and the pricing is really good. So what they do for Depends is the pricing model is a little bit different, okay? So you purchase it, and that's for Depends 2, which is the current version, right? The current edition. And so the stage module, which gives you 255 universes, is 1,900 euros, okay? So compared to the unlimited uh, capture, the Symphony Edition, which is 2,195, it's a little bit less, okay? Um, they also have these other modules for special effects, for fountains, animations, control, which is where you're using it as a console, like we talked about in L8. You're actually controlling lights with the visualizer and laser, okay? But say we're looking just at stage. Um, they estimate, um, I, I've been talking back and forth with their support and they put out Depends 2 last year. They're upgrading it, but they currently don't actually have a target date for, you know, Depends 3. And when they do, it's going to be a 10 to 15% upgrade cost they've shared with me. Okay. And so that's right in line, similar, a little bit more than capture, but it seems like the major upgrades are going to be less often. So that pricing, if you're going to do a lot of universes, may make really good sense for you. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, Depends is a lot like Capture in the sense that it works a lot like a CAD program. I think it's a little more intuitive than Capture is. Um, I found it a little bit easier to get started, um, but not shockingly different in, in any way. Uh, the visualization, as I mentioned, looked really good. It's really easy to use on a small monitor or within one window, uh, which can be helpful. And uh, you can check out everything I talked about it in the last video. So who is this best for? Well, Depends is definitely, you know, for the pricing, is definitely designed at the professional user. Um, it's got a lot of tools in it that make it you able to work really quickly, but also have a really good price. Uh -huh. So as I mentioned with all of these, whether you're looking at LA, Capture, Depends, they're all really solid visualizers. Like that's what I was the most impressed with is going between the three, you know, playing around, creating files, working with them. Like all three of these are really good. They've all got slight advantages and disadvantages, um, both in function and quality, you know, compared to each other. And the pricing overall is not drastically different between the three. So how do you choose? Well, only you can choose for you. That's what I said. You know, first and foremost, I can't choose for you. Nobody else can choose for you. Only you can choose for you. I think, like I've mentioned before, if you're an Onyx user, Capture is going to be your number one choice because it's just darn good and the integrations they're putting into there are just make it second to none for Onyx use. If you're using other consoles and you want to visualize, if you're not using a lot of universes, you don't need that professional type plotting capacity. You're just looking to do 3D visualization. Um, then... I would, I would look at um, L8, even if you are using Onyx and, you know, you don't need the CAD side of it, you just really want to visualize and the price really matters, then take a really hard look at L8. Um, over time, it's not significantly cheaper than Capture, so that's why, as an Onyx user, I say you should probably just go with Capture, right? Um, because of those abilities that they have with some two-way communication that just make it awesome, Okay. Depends, I would say, is definitely for the professional user. Um, they have a demo if you reach out to them. They're really nice, and it's a really high-quality visualizer. I think if, and I'm friendly with the Elation guys, obviously, but, you know, I'm not going to let that shape my opinion here. I think if you're looking for um, the full Universe Edition, you know, where you would need the Symphony Edition and Capture, you're using more than four universes, I would probably go Depends. I think it's a better deal. And when working with a lot of stuff, it's got a lot of tools that work really well. Um, and I haven't really found any downsides to it. Okay. Um, but truth be told, between all three of these, there's a lot of common ground. So I hope with today's video and the last video that we've helped you determine what visualizer could be best for you. This video certainly is not an end-all be-all. I mean, I could go for hours. I literally spent days in each of these visualizers to make this video. And there are a lot of details, a lot of rabbit trails that we can go down. But what I hope this video does for you 
is gives you the tools to look at these three visualizers and decide which one you're going to invest the time if you're looking for a visualizer, which one you're going to invest the time to really demo and to dive into and to really get a grasp on and say, okay, is this the right one for me? You know, maybe you've narrowed it down to two out of these. I know there's other visualizers on the market besides just these, um, but these are the ones that I, I see talked about the most um, and I think are probably the best. Um, but, you know, sorry to the WYSIWYG users. Um, but regardless, um, hopefully, you know, I just really want to show you, give you an overview of this stuff and show you some of the pluses and minuses so that as you dive in, you look at these, you can more quickly determine what's best for you. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to lighting, hop over to learnstagelighting.com. I've got a free guide that I want to get into your hands to help you get started with lighting in your specific context, specific to what you're lighting. Then be sure to subscribe here, like this video, and check out my other video on visualizers as well as everything else here on the channel. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.